Today I'm going to tell you my core values, and there's only five of them, and they can all be summed up using relatively short words. But every single one of these tiny five words dictates the outcome of every conversation, every situation, every decision I will ever make, which is insane. These five little things are who I am, and by knowing them, you'll probably be able to predict the outcome of any situation you put me in, because they dictate how I behave, how I hold myself, everything. By telling you this, I'm kind of putting myself in a very vulnerable position, and I hope you respect that and don't abuse this information. I trust you won't. Without further ado, let's get to the first one. So number one is patience, and I'm sure we've all been in a situation where we've been kept waiting. Whether it be standing outside a cinema waiting for your friend to turn up because it's half an hour past for me at time and they're still not there, or you're in A&E and they keep moving you from waiting room to waiting room, or maybe you're in a post office queue and it feels like an eternity until you're going to get to the front of it. But what I do in those situations is, if I feel like I'm about to get annoyed, which is a perfectly valid emotion to feel when you think your time's been wasted, I step outside myself and I be patient, because I don't know what the person who's keeping me waiting is going through. Maybe they just got hit by a car, and that's why they're not here yet. Or maybe their father just died and they needed some time to compose themselves and before coming to you. Maybe they missed their train, maybe they just finished breaking the news to somebody that they were about to die. Or maybe they work within a system that is criminally underfunded, overworked and understaffed. I'm not inside other people's heads. I don't have the right to be angry at them for being late. Yes, they might have wasted an hour or two hours of my time, but in those two hours, I could have brought out my iPad and started to do some work or do something productive while I'm waiting for them. That is my time that I am managing. Whereas they probably have a reason for being late. I'm sure they're not just late because they want to be late. And the thing is, if they're a friend, then when they finally turn up, I could ask them why they're late. And if it's a funny reason, we can joke about it. If it's a nonchalant reason, I can make a joke about it, then we can joke about it. Or if it's a serious thing, if they feel comfortable enough, then we can talk about it. If it's a professional, like a doctor or someone who works in a post office, then very busy people. Yes, I've been kept waiting, but I'm sure there's definitely a reason. I mean, if it's a and &E, a &E deal with people who have spears in their necks and stuff like that, of course I'm going to be, have to keep waiting. I'm not inside other people's heads and it's not my right to yell at them or belittle them for keeping me waiting. I was going to talk about my other four core values in this video, but I'm editing right now and there's so much footage that I can't fit it all into this one video. I'm going to have to unfortunately cut it into five different videos, each one dedicated to each core value. And there you go. This is the first in a series now. Woo! <laughs> but if you enjoyed this video, then please like, comment, share, subscribe, and tell me down below what you think about patience and if it's one of your core values. Thanks for watching and have a good weekend.